We're joined on Cando FM by Lee Roberts, who is Deputy Leader of Barrowborough Council. Um, how are you getting on, Lee? Hello. <laughs> yeah, interesting times. Um, I'm doing yeah. okay. Yeah. How are you? Um, not too bad, not too bad. We're getting used to the four walls and uh, garden's looking better than it has in years. I have to say that. <laughs> yeah, people are doing their gardens and sorting the houses out, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Now, um, can you tell us a little bit about what the council are doing? How they're coping? Yeah, it's been um, it's it's been a total uh, upheaval of the way we operate, to be honest. Because initially, in the crisis, of course, you went down to the essential services only. Like any other business, we were hit by people isolating, having to shield our vulnerable people to over a certain age or with health underlying health conditions. So, and we've um, had to rapidly move to a working from home sort of operating model. So, purchase. Yeah and get people used to that so it, is, it has been quite a, an upheaval which you've had to really cope with running the essential services like making refuse collection but also getting the support hubs up and running mm. uh, the county council borough council aids uk um, and st mary's hospice all tipped in and we opened two support hubs very quickly and got a massive amount of help on the ground in a short amount of time it's been quite um, uplifting to see a lot of the barriers drop um, that normally gets in the way of a lot of working and people have just gone right what do we need to do how do we do it so yeah, yeah. No, in an anxious and worrying time there's been a lot of positives which I've seen which is really good yeah well we've got a very strong community here in in Barrow so it kind of doesn't surprise me really that in a time of crisis people will work together yeah, has emphasized that for a lot of people, hasn't it? It's been mm. really nice to sort of witness that. Um, mm -hmm. The council, I mean, the council done a fantastic job. I know, I know, it's sort of it's hard to see sometimes because you just get on with it. But from 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 keeping the refuge collection going when you've had less people to they're running it up and doing the support from home and having like skeleton staff in the town hall, it's been really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, now you're just, um, you know, just a councillor, but I mean, you, you know, you're there to, to help the people and, um, you know, that's, that is your primary role, isn't it? Yeah, we're basically the councillors are the, are, the, are the residents' voice for their wards. So my ward's Parkside and um, so I'm basically the voice for them on the council for council business. So um, we are residents when like anyone else and, and and fortunately, we're experiencing the same issue, so we can, you know, firsthand we can deal with it. The, the mm -hmm. complication now, of course, is because we can't have meetings, so it's hard for councillors to even meet. And so we yeah. we have to experience that working from home thing, which is quite a quite a culture shock to a lot of the councillors, because you know, I'm used to it in a way, because I'm employed uh, by Rolls Royce, so I do a lot of work at my desk on the on the headset, but yeah, yeah, yeah a lot of hours don't. So yeah, well, it's, it's another thing that people forget that you know that you have another job as well, and as the other councillors, many of the other councillors do as well. So you know, this is something that you have to fit into your into your life. Um, you know, it, it's it's not you, it's not your full time job. Yeah, exactly. This this is just a, a, a voluntary role you go into just to try and make a difference. I think. I think yeah. no matter what side of the political spectrum you're on, and most councillors have that's their aspiration, and that's that's what they do it for. Um, I'd say I've got a full-time job, I've got a young family, my wife's a teacher, um, yeah, I've got, and if you think about it, you, you, I was thinking about this earlier this morning, that um, like my father-in-law's a PCSO, brother-in-law's a nurse, my brother runs a small business, you think of all the things we're trying to do as a town and the um, all the aspects we're trying to cover within people's families and like with mine, you, you tend to have a lot of experience of it already. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. that experience going into the town halls and going into meetings and, and yeah, you really out. understand what people are struggling with. Yeah, exactly. We're experiencing it, and we're just normal people, so we're just trying to um, to actually um, make the place better because we love our town. That's the other thing. The passion for the town's uh, really high at the moment because people are quite positive about it. Where they're not always, they're always, they're always um, proud, but they don't always shout about it. So I think yeah. hopefully, hopefully whatever comes next, wherever we're through this, hope we can retain some of the strong community spirit and getting out and about and appreciating our beaches, which a lot of people have in our area, mm -hmm. or for walks, you know, the once a day walks. I think a lot of people have reconnected with a lot of the area and nature and the slower pace of life. Yeah. So hopefully we can retain a lot of that and we can, we can actually be um, more proud of our town in that sense. 
That's right. And your counsellors are there to help. So is there a, you know, a way in which people can get in touch with their counsellors? Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, the easiest way is by an e email at the moment, but I think most of us have our n mobile phone numbers on uh, the Barrowborough Council website. You just look for mm -hmm. your, put your postcode in it, it'll tell you who your councillor are. You'll tend yeah. to have, most places have three councillors per ward. And um, just send them an email or give them a ring and we'll do our best. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do your best, but you can't work miracles either, though, can you? <laughs> well, no, no, but, you know, you know, we'll, tell, we'll soon tell you if we can't do something. Right. Yeah, we'll. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much, and um, thank you. you. Your work that you do for the town is very much appreciated, and thank you for your time. Oh, thank you very much, and uh, you take care. Thank you.